You too, Big H. Look at this place. Let's check it out. Let's check out this Peterbilt. This is uh, this Elvis. Say hello, Elvis. Hello, Elvis. That's Elvis. But this is the uh, Kinley Petro in uh, North Carolina, I-95, exit 106. This place is tremendous. Truck show winners. You get mattresses. Pretty cool. Memory foam. Well, check this out. Scott's gonna blow a load in his pants. <laughs> this is what you can do to your truck if you get the right gig. It's unbelievable, huh? Huh? Look at this. Look at the details on this truck. It's unbelievable. Beautiful. So here's the toolboxes, ladders. There's another Peter built up there. Pink. Look at all the chrome. These stacks are. Look at this trophy. So again, this is uh, this is. Kinley Petro. Beautiful. Now look at this, guys. Look at this deer guard. This ain't a deer guard. This is a fucking elk guard. Moose guard. So you get everything you want for your truck. I mean, look at these stacks, huh? Eight inch stacks. It's crazy. Look at that Peterbilt up there. stacks. See, I don't know if I like the straight pipes. I mean, they look, they look mean. But I like these maybe because it keeps the rain out. I don't know where all that water would go in you know, a stormy day, so I like the, I like the curve. But I'm also like into like black matte, so I probably like, I love my black mamba. I'm into black, like all my cars have been black and, or blue. Check this out. Look, look how they detail. Oh, well, anyway. It's the stuff that you use to polish out your tanks. Just a little uh, tour. This place is massive. Bedding. Sheets, whatever you need. This place has got everything you you could ever want for your truck. It's absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, I have a lease truck, and I ain't putting a dime into it. Again, if I was a little, I hate to keep using my age as an excuse. Do I really want to get involved in the trucking industry? Start my own business? I'm not talking about being an ace lease. I'm talking about going out and buying one of those. Where, where, where is it? One of those. One of those. This doesn't have a death system. I'm so turned off at this death system. Anyway, here's all your air hoses. It's 
the one I've got. It sucks. I gotta find hangers for him. You know, again, I hate to use age as my as an excuse to not starting something because I've kind of fallen in love with the trucking world. I'm also going to be 57 in May. Look at the gray beard. You know, I do have the means to buy a, one of those trucks, and the only thing I don't have is the connections or the relationships, God forbid, it breaks. I mean, look at that truck. It's just unbelievable. Seats. I'm gonna try this out. Oh my God, oh my God. So comfortable, wow, wow. Wowzer. That's comfortable. Wow. It's incredible. But again, getting back to what I was saying. You know, every day I think about getting a truck in the trailer and running reefer and combined with reefer run some dry loads and make the bank because the market right now is as good as it's ever going to get but the good thing about prime is they've given me all the tools they take out all the hard work i don't have to worry about if the taxes and permits and all that other shit If I get broken down, I call Rotasis. They come. I think I don't need a tow, but you know, there's resources that I don't have. You know, I'm not mechanically inclined enough to work on my truck, nor do I have the spot for it, and nor do I have the tools required. No hippie, no hippie. If you see this video, are these what you're talking about? The plastic rings for the hose? Because right now I've got a 2015 series truck and I've taken as much slack out of it as I can. I still got, they're still laying on the, uh, on the uh, crosswalk, catwalk. And you know how gnarly that is. So let me know if this is the stuff I need. Then I gotta unravel all that stuff, huh? All that that plastic, that hard plastic, huh? And I think this is what you were talking about when we spoke. Or Scott, this is what I need. Scott a while, help me out there. Because I gotta do something about that. I got my all my hoses wrapped up in Gorilla Tape just to added protection because of the rubbing. So anyway, just coming along with it, I just wanted to show you the, the uh, the Petro here in Kinley, North Carolina. All your trucking needs are in one spot. Your microwave, coolers. I mean, look at it, $607 for a cooler. Wow. That's what I mean, you know, everything's expensive with a truck. But man, I see, I'm a Peterbilt fan, as you can tell. I love my Peterbilt. And I especially love the old ones. The old ones are just insane. And I love the Jake brakes. Love them wide open Jake brakes. Here's Scott, Here's, this is for you, buddy. Peterbilt. I don't like them. Weak selection on the Peterbilts, folks. Weak selection. So anyway, guys, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. I'm going to stick with Prime. Finish out my lease. 
see where it lands, but I am so tempted each and every day to uh, get a truck and trailer. But again, I don't have the relationships on the back end. So that's probably what's keeping me from moving forward, is doing all the paperwork, all the IFTA taxes. Now, I certainly wouldn't run 48 states. I'd run the south, the southeast. And, you know, I'd do Pennsylvania down to the first west I'd go would be Texas, you know, Illinois, Nebraska, I mean, Nebraska, uh, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. I'd only go to Florida if the money was good going in. Supply issues, you guys. Empty shells. We need more truckers. I mean, that's a joke that these, this is totally empty. Wow. Empty, man. Jesus. Man, this is terrible. Fucking terrible, man. This Coca Cola? When's the last time I've seen Coca Cola racks empty? It's incredible what's going on here. Truck stop. Anyway, folks, I'm out. My little venting for the day. Keep safe. Make good decisions. And I'm going to get me some Wendy's breakfast. All right, folks. Be good. Bye.